the state and state parameters of thermodynamics. The state at one instant, the working fluid shows the macroscopic properties of status. Another concept is equilibrium state. If no outside influences, any part of system does not change for a long time. Just to say there is no outside the force to the system, the system keeps equilibrium state. So we can say it is an equilibrium state, no change. Another concept is state parameters. The parameters can be used to describe the physical quantity of system in equilibrium state, such as pressure, temperature, specific volume, all of them is state parameters. Parameters may be many, many state parameters, but here there are three basic parameters. P, V, T. Generally, we have with three basic parameters. Another three state parameters is internal energy, enthalpy H, and entropy S. So in thermodynamics, we have six state parameters. However, only V, P, T is basic state parameters because they easy to be measured. Firstly, we give an introduction about specific volume, V, V. A specific volume is a volume occupied by unit mass of system. If in the system there is some mass M, occupy the volume, V, the unit is cubic meter. So the specific volume is capital V over M is specific volume. Another very important concept is density. Density is the mass in the unit volume. So V and rho is very similar. Another state parameters is P, pressure. Pressure is the force exerted by the system on unit area of its boundary. So here the pressure is absolute pressure. P equals F over A. So its unit is N divided square meters. N is Newton. So the pressure unit generally is Pascal, PA Pascal. Because Pascal is very small, sometimes we use kilopascal and M Pascal to describe the pressure. Sometimes for common use, sometimes we use atom and by to do its unit. Generation of pressure. Press how to produce the pressure. We can give some explanation. The pressure is an average effect, which is a large number of molecules consisting of the gas hit the wall of tank. Many, many small, very small the molecules hit the hit the, the wall, produce the pressure. How to measure the pressure? Because pressure there is different case, different case. Sometimes in the tank the pressure is larger, maybe larger than 
atmos atmospheric pressure. Sometimes the pressure in the tank is is lower than atmospheric pressure. So there is different kinds to express to test the pressure. Firstly, we give a definition of absolute pressure. Absolute pressure. Absolute pressure is real the pressure of the gas. In a tank, the pressure just is the force divide the area in the tank, the area. So absolute pressure is the real the pressure of the gas. However, outside environment, there is another pressure. We can call it atmospheric pressure. Just is atmospheric real pressure. Okay. When we test the pressure in the tank, we use the meter to test the pressure of us of some tank. So we can call it meter pressure, PG. It is indication of the barometer or barometer. The first one, the vacuum pressure. When the tank in the tank, the pressure is lower than atmospheric pressure. We can call the pressure is vacuum pressure. Indication in vacuum meter. How to calculate the absolute pressure when we test the pressure by meter? We can divide two case. Two case. When the in the tank the pressure is larger than atmospheric pressure, we use the meter to test the pressure. We obtain the indication is Pg. So absolute pressure equals Pg plus Pb. Pb is outside the pressure. When the pressure of gas is less than atmospheric pressure, we can use vacuum meter to test the pressure in the tank. The reader is PV. So the in the tank, the atmospheric pressure equals PB minus PV. Okay. The gauge pressure records the pressure about atmospheric. For example, this picture, when the in the tank, in the system, P, the pressure is larger than atmospheric pressure. So when we use some liquid in this U-tube, so we can find, because the air in the system, the gas, the pressure is larger than atmospheric. So this liquid is higher than this level and this level. So in AA line, we can obtain the same pressure, same pressure. So in the system, its absolute pressure equals Pb plus low GH, low GH. Rho is the density of the liquid in the tube. G is locate acceleration of gravity. Gravity. H is the height of the liquid. Okay, this section we will study the temperature scale. Temperature, we can say it is a symbol about substance hot or cool. We can say some some something some matter very hot certainly it has very high the temperature. When it very cool, it is very cool, the temperature is very low, very low. Temperature was established based on the Zero's law. Zero's law is very special, is very special. It tells us very simple reason. It says if A is thermal equilibrium 
this B. Also, B is a thermal equilibrium with C, then A must be heat balance with C. It's very simple. Here is three bodies, three bodies. It says A and the B is heat balance. A and the C is heat balance. Certainly, B and C is heat balance. However, the zero's law tells us when two bodies has equality of temperature with a third body, they in turn have equality of temperature with each other. It's very simple, but tell us very, very good the reason. Very good the reason. It's a very simple law. We can call it zero's law. About the how to give the number of the temperature, there is different ways. First one is Celsius temperature scale. Temperature scale. Celsius scale was established between the vapor of boiling water and us point at atmospheric pressure. 100 divisions I made between two fixed points and zero is taken at the us point, us point. The change in volume and at con constant pressure or change in pressure at a constant volume of a fixed mass of gas can be used as a measure of temperature. So we can use these characteristics between the relationship V and the T, P and the T, when P is constant or V is constant. So we can use the, some substance to test the temperature. Okay, another scale, another very good scale is perfect gas temperature scale. Because almost gas has the same change chain between press and volume and temperature under low pressure conditions. It is a very good way to make the temperature scale with relationship. relationship. Here is a picture we can, to some measure. We, when the pressure is very low in this range, we test the temperature and the P or V the relationship. We can find in this picture, the line is very where it is a straight line. And the same thing is T and V coordination. When the P is very, very small, we can do some test. We can find T and the V, the relationship is a straight line, straight line, get some meter. If the graph of temperature against the volume in constant pressure, when the pressure is lower and lower, the thermometer extrapolates beyond the ice point to the point at which the volume, the gas, would become zero. Then the temperature at the point is about minus 273 degrees centigrade. It's very close to this point. This point. Here we have two introduce a very important scale, temperature scale, is thermodynamic scale, or say Kelvin scale, Kelvin scale. Kelvin scale will obtain by adding 273.15 on Celsius temperature scale. So Kelvin scale sometimes we can think it is a thermodynamic scale. 
So Kelvin scale and Celsius scale just has a difference, constant difference. Kelvin scale sometimes, most cases we use capital T to describe it. Celsius scale we can use small t to describe it. So capital T and small t there is some relationship. Capital T equals 273.5 and small t. Capital T is Kelvin, small t is Celsius. Here is the, the relationship. Thank you. Thank you.